Hey, welcome back to the channel. Today, I've got some golf ball markers that I picked up offline for us to take a look at. I'll be doing a little bit of an unboxing and talk to you about my overall impressions of what it was like to get them in the mail and also what it was like to use a couple of them on the course. First up, is this one by Spartan Golf Tools, which I got off of Etsy. I found them on Etsy. By the way, all of these golf ball markers are around $10. So for the price, these are pretty similar. There is one that's a little bit less expensive, but we'll get into that in a bit. So this one is called uh, Spartan Golf Tools, and you can find them at spartangolftools.com, and I'll put the links in the description as well. But this one was probably my favorite by far to get in the mail. This is what it came in a manila envelope with this really nice box. This is what it looks like. And of course they have Spartan shields and helmets as emblems. And that's what they use as their ball markers, which I really like. So here's this one and you take it off here and you can see that it's set nicely in this little foam insert, which I really like. And it's, it's pretty hefty. I mean, there's no joke. The weight to this thing is pretty significant and it's this amazing copper color, which I really, really love. You can see the details of the shield as if it's been in battle. Pretty awesome. So there's this one. I really like this one. By the way, stick around to the end and you may just find out how you can win this one here. So stay tuned. So let's move on to the next one, okay? This next one I got, I've been looking at them and following them a long time on Instagram. Uh, they are called Full Metal Markers and this is how this one came, just in an envelope, just like this. I do kind of wish this one had a little bit better of a presentation. But in saying that, it is by far my favorite marker that I got in the mail recently. So this, I'll be doing a few more of these. There's tons of companies out there with really amazing golf ball markers. And so far, Full Metal Markers is at the top of the list. And this is how it came, taped to the back, just like this. I got the Turtle Shell golf ball marker. I am a huge Ninja Turtles fan, so the Turtle Shell got me going. Turtle Shell, sewer cover, whatever you want to say. But this is it here. Again, another brass brass color. I'm on a brass kick, but I love it. And I'll do a little comparison at the end, but this one is probably about the size of a quarter. And it, again, it feels really nice. It's solid, solid metal. There you go, full metal markers on the back. But this one is great as well. And this is how it came. Love it, thank you. This next one I got, also from Etsy, and the name of the shop is Hill Home Treasures on Etsy. I'll link it as well, but this one is called Hill Home Treasures. And I found this one, it says it's a one of a kind vintage golf ball marker, and it is also brass. So if we take it off here, and we empty it out, you can see this one is smaller, probably about the size of a dime. And I think what I may do with this one is polish it up. And you know what? I'm gonna give this one away as well. So now we've got two giveaways in this video. This vintage, it looks like it's got a little bit of a plus sign, like a plus sign or a cross in the middle with dots. Very cool. I wonder how many rounds have been played with something like this, you know? Anyway, so this is how this one came again from Etsy, just in a plain envelope. Not bad at all. I do like the way this one looks. The vintage feel makes me think. I wonder how many times guys put birdies with this or something along those lines. Anyway, I'll be doing a giveaway of this one as well just so everybody can have a chance to win something. So we'll do this one and the Spartan Shield. Okay, let's move on to the last one, which I haven't opened yet, but this one is custom. to the recipient. The letters in your marker have been filled with a non-hazardous lacquer filling to enhance and darken the engraved letters. When dry, the lacquer may leave a light film on the marker. This film can be easily buffed out using a cotton cloth and a very light touch. We hope you enjoy your new golf ball marker. So this one came in this small manila envelope as well. It's got their business card here. The Etsy shop is called Colorado Core Co Golfing name's kind of long but uh, I really like their shop on Etsy and they've got plenty of ways that you can customize your golf ball markers so I put 
my own customization on this particular marker, which we'll see in a second. So let's open it up. Let's open it out of this envelope here. I'm pretty excited about this one, actually. Okay, so this one is silver. And you can only put a certain amount of letters on here. So I put, you're dancing. And if anybody played the old Macintosh golf games, you'll know what this is from. As soon as you hit it on the green, you'll hear the little computer voice man go, you're dancing. So I had to throw this one on the marker. And again, with the sewer cover, I just figured I'd rather have that than the, the stereotypical golf pin or, or the green emblem. I really like this one. The weight feels good. I can find myself using this one quite a bit. So that is this one, you're dancing. So let's take them all out and compare them. So here they all are. We've got the vintage one. It's about the size of a dime. Then we've got the turtle shell from Full Metal Markers. Then we've got your dancing. And then we've got the Spartan Shield. So as you can see, the Spartan Shield is significantly thicker than the Full Metal Markers. And I found, so I played with these two. I played with the Spartan Shield and the Full Metal Markers. I really enjoyed the weight of the Spartan Shield, and I thought that that was gonna be the one that I would pick to use the most. But after a while, I, I noticed that, I don't know, there's something about the thickness of this one that, um, I mean, the chances of you or your opponent or someone you're playing with actually hitting over your ball marker is slim, I know that. But nonetheless, I still wanted something a little thinner. So I, I'm finding that I'm using this Full Metal Markers one probably most of my rounds. Now that I've unboxed this Your Dancing one, I'll definitely be using that, that a little bit more. But the weight of this one, of the Full Metal Markers, is perfect. It's not too heavy, but there's still some decent quality to it. And it slips easily in and out of your pockets. So. I gotta say, this is probably one of my favorite videos that I've done, and I plan on getting a lot more golf ball markers for us to take a look at together, just to review the brands and kind of give my overall impressions and which ones I recommend and which ones I'd probably stay away from. So if you're interested in winning either of these two, please make sure you're subscribed and you're following me on Instagram for a chance, okay? I'm really glad you all joined me today for this unboxing and review of some golf ball markers that I picked up and hopefully um, you win. And if not, we'll see you in the next giveaway, but thank you so much for watching. Have a good one.